My name is Daryl and I'm the Innovation and Sustainability Lead at Solbuilt Construction Group Limited. So basically, Solbuilt is a one-stop end-to-end built environment solution provider. Today, we will share a deeper insight into our construction business, specifically in our committed investment towards design for manufacturing and assembly solutions, which can be exemplified through the ICPH. I think to simply put it, we can imagine the IKEA products that we normally buy off the shelf. We take home the segmented pieces and assemble them using their connection systems. That is exactly what we are trying to do in the construction industry. As we continuously develop these DFMA solutions, we'll explore new connection means to make it more simple and efficient to join 2D panels to form 3D components. So now we're at level one of the production floor where manufacturing comes alive. My name is Kong Jian and I'm the DFMA engineer of Soybuilt Construction Group Limited. Everything that will be manufactured here is being based off a of modeling in a digital format. And from this, right, there's various information such as the panel sizes, the amount of steel reinforcement and the amount of concrete to be included. After which, an engineer will take over to plan it for production according to site installation progress. All this information are being passed on to a master computer. A master computer will pass on this information to various machineries for production. So the next piece of machinery will be the automated mesh welding line. It is able to produce a highly customized mesh as required by drawing designs. And then, it is also being supported by two integrated bending machines that is able to bend the meshes as required. And as of this moment, we are the only plant that has this pair of integrated bending machines. Then the next key piece of machinery will be the automated concrete distributor. After the panels get inspected, it will then come over to this station where the concrete gets poured into the moulds. And then, it gets sent into a curing chamber where the curing process happens. Given the complexity of our building, not every component can be produced in an automated fashion. However, with standardization and simplification of connection system, we should be able to better harness the potential of an ICPH. I think with the issue of climate change becoming more prevalent than ever, the term sustainability will gradually change how business operates, uh, especially in the built environment sector, with buildings contributing nearly 40% of annual CO2 emissions. I think at Soil Build, we see the issue as a potential opportunity to spur innovation for a cleaner and brighter future. Now, in fact, we have been closely collaborating with institutions and industry partners to develop low carbon technologies for our prefabrication business. Now, in doing so, we can save energy and material costs while still meeting the growing demands by clients for greener materials. I think the next opportunity will then be to address the life cycle carbon performance of a building. Now, we plan to develop our capabilities in constructing green and sustainable built-to-suit facilities that are not only energy efficient, but also potentially self-sufficient. Being a end-to-end -end built environment solution provider, I think Solbuilt is well poised to tap on these opportunities. Well, in essence, we believe in sustainable design, manufacturing and construction to meet the demands of tomorrow. And in doing so, develop a sustainable local workforce. To conclude, as a forward-looking organisation that invests in its people and capabilities, 
Solve Build will continue to ride on the ongoing transformational journey and beyond.